Generally, we only have one mod to show off on Mondays. Today, we have three. Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an early first look mod showcase of three different mods from three absolutely incredible modders. We have the Trans 70 trailer from Raleigh Christy One. We also have the Case Traction King from Farm Citrusol, and to top it off, we have the Massey Ferguson 296299 from JA Modding. Today, we're gonna take a look at each one of these. We're gonna show you the customization. We're gonna listen to the tractor sounds. We're gonna show you almost everything that's gonna be coming with these right now. A few of these are already in the testing list. One of them's already failed, but don't worry, it is coming back. I'm very excited, this trailer's awesome. Let's start off with the Massey. And here it is for $60,000. This is available in lots of customization options, as you can see. There's a lot, 120 horsepower, 273 liters of fuel, which is quite a bit at 24 miles per hour. So it is not a speedy boy, but it is totally fine there. Label is the 296299. However, we do have another engine option. Rim colors, starting off there, we have a matte silver. We do have a black and that is like an absence of color. Maybe not black as a color, I love it. You've also got gray and ice white. Yeah, we're just gonna go with matte silver today. Make color, we have black, red, and gray. What does that change in DJ? Well, this is changing up the supports going to your overhang right there, the covered spot. So there you go, that changes that. So you can change up whatever color you would like. And then our design color, we have black and we have chrome. This is going to be your exhaust color. So heads up there, that is gonna be that. Most chrome doesn't look chrome in the shop. It looks black because, well, there's not a whole lot of light in here. So just to let you guys know, that is chrome. I'm just gonna go with black today. Wheel brands, these are set up as Michelin, Lizard, and two-wheel drive. However, there are some interesting things because most all of these are Michelin tires. Let's start there. So we have the balloon tire, we have a narrow tire, we have what looks to be the balloon with weight, we have a narrow with a weight, we have much larger with the weight, and then we have chonkers with the weight. So we've got quite a few different things through there. You can choose whatever you like. Lizard tires, this is where it's interesting because these are also some Michelin tires, but there's other things in here as well. Starting off with the fine wheels or your skinny wheels. I think these look the best out of all of them. We also have a front tire one. We have a front rice wheel and rear rice, rice wheel as well with a weight and then back to the skinny wheels. And then we have a two wheel drive version. And yes, this is available in pretty much all of the configurations. Now you're not gonna get narrow tires in the back with the two wheel drive version. So just a heads up there, that is, as far as I could tell, the only customization option that you do not have. I do like this option, so we're gonna stick with this. Support glass, we have without glass, with anything else. We do have a little extra support glass right there. And then we've got it, sands a light left and right, or none, or all together. You could do kind of whatever you choose. Plus we get some extra stickers. I think that's pretty neat right there. That's a cool, uh, just a cool option that we didn't have to get, but it's there and I love it. And then we also have a pipe design. We also have pipes one, two, three, four, and then back to standard. So that's your exhaust. These are translated. They may not be a final translation, but these are translated items. So that's gonna be your exhaust right there. I think they look great. That was kinda cool. Let's go with that one. Accessories, we have a toolbox. Now, first thing we gotta do is find it. Looks like it's gonna be in the cabin. So toolbox, we have tools, which are kinda spread out. We've also got an antenna. We've got the Brazilian flag, small and large. Then we have different configurations of all of those combined. And then none, or just toolbox in general. White table, we have nothing. We have red, and we're trying to find out here. Is this gonna be in the front side? Hmm, trying to find where the white table leave it is. Well, let's, uh, Let's find out, aha, here we go. That's gonna be it right there. So, weight table we have with nothing, red, black, nothing. So it looks like, interestingly here, weights can jump across the side if you're on black, but if you have with nothing, 
You physically cannot put any weights on there. That's kind of neat. I like that. I like that. Red looks awesome on here, by the way. So you're not going to go wrong with having red weights or black. But yeah, nothing just doesn't show up, does it? So we've got, let's see, 1,573. Looks like that's going to need to be uh, changed up a little bit. But we do have some different weight options through there. Then our engine setups on this one. We have the 296, which is going to give you 120 horsepower. The 297, which gives you 125. And the 299, which gives you 130 horsepower. Thanks. We have seat with backrest. Yeah, okay. So we've got a couple different seats through there. Looks like we have two different seats. Plus, we have armrests for one of them. Kind of looks like my gaming chair. Let's go with that right there. Uh, all in all, with a bunch of customization, you're looking around $75,000 total. Now we have the 296 right here. This does have original engine sounds from the original engine that was in here. He's done a lot of work modeling this, and I would say looks very, very good. So you know what? Let's jump in here. <laughs> Dude is just chilling, ain't he? Let's jump in here and let's see what it sounds like. So as you can see, this is a really, really cool tractor through here. Man, this is awesome. It looks good. It sounds good. It's mean, baby. Let's go. Your next mod today is from Farm Central Soul. This is the Case Traction King. This bad boy right here. We've been talking about this for a while, and I'm so excited to see this finally here. Ready to go. Again, no release dates for mods, but... We do have early access, so we'll at least show you so you know what to expect before they release. This is 210 horsepower, 568 liters of fuel, and 24 miles per hour max speed. Rim color, we've got a couple different ones. We've got all of your base game colors, plus we have base game gray, which is nice. Onyx looks very, very good. Onyx looks great on everything, but Onyx looks especially good on this. So I think that's what I'm just going to stick with through there. Configurations, we have standard. And we have a 1,000 kilogram front weight. So if you need a weight on here, well, there you go. You do have that custom weight there. Uh, only up to 1,000, but you're not going to need a whole lot more than that. Uh, the aforementioned Massey is actually medium tractors, and this is in large tractors. So if you're looking for them, that's where they will end up. Wood brands, we have Trailer Borg, we have Midas tires, we even have Lizard tires and Michelin tires. In Trailer Borg, we have a standard tire and twin wheels, as well as a wide tire, twin wide tires, back to standard again. I foresee these being super popular with myself included. Man, they look good, don't they? In Midas tires, so we have a standard tire, we have a wide tire, and or, uh, twins, and then back to a standard, so not a whole lot going on through there lizard tires we have our rice wheels we have double rice wheels we've got the lsw tires that's right we got lsw's on here and then the standard and a michelin tires we have a standard tire twin wheels and back and forth between those yeah you guys know which ones we're putting back on the lsw's let's go beacon lights so we have the left side, right side, or both. So this is one of the uh, more popular tractors that will have beacons on left or right side or both. I know a lot of you guys, some of you like left, some like on the right, myself, just like both or neither. So you've got that. And then your engine setup. We have three different engines coming with this mod. We have the 44 or 4490 Traction King. This has 210 horsepower. We have the 2470. This is going to have 212 horsepower. And then we have the largest 2870. This is going to have 300 horsepower. So 210, 212, 
and 300. Really, the difference right through here is your design. Which design do you like? And then you're kind of stuck with this one if you need all that power. Your prices are going to range, uh, fluctuate quite a bit because of how many different options there are here. But probably going to cost you between 70 and about $90,000. You're going to be totally fine through there. I think we've gone with just a standard with uh, some just normal tires in here. So, hey, let's check it out. So again, as you can see, a very, very cool tractor. It is all-wheel drive, which is awesome. It is not articulating. It is all-wheel drive. Very, very cool stuff through there. Do we have anything that we can do? Right, let's take a look. Looks like uh, we do have steering modes. We do have front or just rear, so that's cool. We do have crab steer left and right and all-wheel steering. So if you need a rear wheel steering, well, you've got that. Otherwise, the only thing you can do and the last mod that we have to showcase today from raleigh christie one this is the trans 70 this is going to hold 70,000 liters of literally whatever you want it'll hold anything it does have a push design which is nice to see we've got a couple different things through there we'll talk about it main color well we do have some custom colors we have orange new orange matte burnt orange blue new uh, it's kind of nitro blue, but it is what it is. I always look for nitro blue, though, so I can see it in anything. We do have the Kloss US color. Khaki, green, cherry, flegal blue, flegal black, Dutch greens, reds. And then we get into our base game colors. We also have galvanized and chrome. That's right. You can even get this thing in chrome. Flashy, baby. Let's go. We're just going to keep it as a gray today. And then for our uh, main co or rim color, we have the new black. We have stainless steel dark steel we have aluminum which is nice see chrome love chrome polished and we even have gold even new silver which is nice to see that as well that's pretty much base game gray and then we have scarlet red pearl white a couple different colors through here nitro blue i knew it <laughs> and then we've got your whites and base game colors things like that we'll stick this to polish make it look good there you go wheel brands we do have a trailer board in Michelin tires and trailer board, we have a standard and a wide tire, and a Michelin standard and a wide tire there as well. Price is going to start at thirty-six thousand. Probably won't spend much more than about thirty-eight grand on this altogether. And uh, well, it's got a bit of a party piece, as you can see. It has the high tip function, so you're able to use this in the field and then tip into the back of well a semi trailer or something like that. It is very high, so it will reach all of those. So let's do this. Let's uh, bring it down. Please. Oh, wrong one. Evidently, it's got an adjustable hitch, too. Did not know that. Very cool animation through there. I like that. Yeah. So it looks like this is going to be 100% on you. So you are going to be the one that has to do this. It doesn't unfold or this or that. You actually raise this up on your own. It is going to bring that down. And then it's going to start to bring this up boop just like so pretty neat stuff right there i do dig that now if you don't want to do that do you have to well no you don't have to do that at all um we do have an unload here so we've got the tip and what it's going to do is it's just going to push back and be done from there but do we have a uh 
Change tip mode. I don't know if we do or not. Let's see. Unload here. Change cruise. Gun. Nah. Okay, so it looks like that is the only thing. We've just got a couple different tip modes. So you could either have it raised, lowered, or somewhere in between. It looks like if we take that, it's going to unload and then push. Uh, this style of tipper is a very, very popular style of tipper because of how it unloads. So, of course, pushing means that whether this tipper is down or up, this is going to be very, very handy to have in the fields. You can use this trailer for pretty much anything in any position. I think it's cool. Let's go and bring it down. But again, yes, that is the Trans 70 from Raleigh Christie 1 beautiful mods today. This was a lot of fun to do this video. But unfortunately, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos, no matter what they may be, here on the channel. Make sure you jump in the description below, check out JA Modding, Farm Central Soul, and Raleigh Christie 1 over on Facebook. Those guys are awesome, and without them, Today's video would not have been possible. So big shout out to those guys. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, and I don't know if we mentioned, all these are for all platforms. Get hyped. That being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.